So when I was a little girl, this trail was train tracks. And the train came by twice a day, once in the really early morning and once late at night. And once the train was gone in the morning, we could hike on the tracks and we'd go for a walk into town. Here, this old gate here, this was my grandparents' farm when I was a little girl. Okay, it looks a lot different than when I was a little girl. There was an old pig pen over there, old chicken coop. The old barn was up there, which it still is, and the house is in behind that clump of trees. And we had pastures over here, and pastures down here, and there was usually some cows. No pigs or chickens when I was a kid. That was before my time, but there were, or pigs. But there was lots of cows around. My grandfather always had two or three cows and then the neighbor across the way pastured his cows in here too. So there was always lots of cows around. Hey, we come down, climb over this old fence, walk down this way and then get on the railroad tracks and go for a hike and go on an adventure. Would you like to go on an adventure? Yeah. Miss? Yeah. So there's the old house up there with the sun porch off the side. See it? Yeah. yeah? And we used to play and adventure down here when we were kids all the time. This is one of my favorite places in the world. Do you guys want to go for a hike? Do you want to go for a hike? Yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. Alright, let's go for a hike down here. Those are the old stones from the old railroad track. Uh -huh. Pretty cool, hey? Pieces of old iron? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's keep... Look, and there's all sorts of cool ones down here, I think. This is a great place to come rock hunting and fossil hunting. All right, let's go down here to the bridge. Did it fall down? I don't know how it fell down. In the wind? Look at all the birds up there, though. Mama, look at this cool shiny wall. Right in there. Look at that. Dig out a bit. Holy right, we're going to take that home and we're going to see if we can get some sparks off of it. It's pretty neat shapes, okay. doesn't it? Hey, I think they're pretty interesting. Do you think they're pretty interesting? That's a big one over there. All right, let's keep our eye out for quartz, okay? We're gonna try and get some quartz to make sparks with our new file striker. Can I hold it? Hey. Oh, this is the bridge. When we were kids, this was an old wooden train bridge. I went over the creek behind the farm. And we were not allowed to play in the creek because there's snapping turtles in there. We never did any fishing when we were down here. But we did lots and lots of hiking. And once upon a time, when I was a little girl, I fell in that creek in the middle of the winter, right through the ice. It was a big rescue mission to get me. They had to go get parents from the house all the way down here to get me and then all the way back up to the house again. Hey, and I did not die. But it was really cold and I remember it really, really well. Oh, well, we just put it cool up in there. Yeah. There was a metal structure on this bridge when we were kids too, but I think this has been redone or repainted at least. It's a little too modern. Uh -huh. What do you think? Do I just don't want to go all the way under there? It does. A little creek. It's going to flow into the big river. And we'll go see the big river a little bit later today. It's not cold in there. But I tell you this. We've spent many, many an hour when I was a kid going up and down here looking for gold. I thought for sure that we could find some. We found an old arrowhead on here one day. And we were sure there must have been cowboys and Indians around at one point. And then my grandpa told us that the neighbor planted it to get our imagination. I think they are grapes. They look like they're on a grapevine. But we're not going to eat them. We're going to leave them for the animals. Right? It was a really hard summer this year and there's not a lot for them to eat. So we're going to leave this for them. A little piece of quartz. Can we go to the big bridge again? There's still a train track. There was 
every now and again you come across a little shack on the side of the road. Hobo shacks. Hobos back in the day used to use and sometimes there was little treasures and goodies in there. I think the most exciting thing we ever found was a tin cup and we didn't think it was that exciting back then. I'd be pretty excited about it now though. And then back in here, there's an old farm. And legend has it that it's haunted. That yeah, there was a go in it. there was a big party at the barn one night and it burned to the ground. That's how the story goes. And now the barn was haunted. So one day, Uncle Chris and I came hiking up here against Grandpa's wishes. He told us not to come up here and check it out. We did it anyways. Abby. And as we were creeping closer and closer and closer and getting more and more excited, wham! Grandpa's shoulder on her shoulder. Uh, Grandpa's hand on her shoulder scared the bejesus out of me. I think I had to change my underwear after that. What's in your pants? Rocks. You're keeping your rocks in there. Next time we'll bring your pack. All right, let's go. Could have brought our fishing kits. I bet you we catch something in here. to go on adventures. Because when I was a kid, visiting grandparents who had a farm, the options were go out and play and amuse yourself or we'll, or we'll give you work to do. So what we did, this was our lifeline, our adventure line. We'd come out here, we'd hop on the railroad tracks and off we would go on an adventure in the fields, the creeks, except that one up there because of the snapping turtles. We used to have a great, great time right up there at the old farm. There's the old pig pen, you see it? Yeah. Right over there, pig pen, the barn, the house. That's pretty much all that was there when I was a kid. Well, this was all fields. It wasn't mowed grass. It was just fields, pastures for the cows. And places. So Grandma and Grandpa Simons lived there until I was about about your age, maybe a little bit older, and then they sold the farm and they moved into town. It wasn't an active farm or a working farm anymore. Grandpa got Parkinson's disease and he couldn't upkeep it anymore and they needed to be closer to the hospital, so they sold it. Moved into that house over there is my other grandmother's house. My grandma and grandpa built that when I was a baby. My grandpa died when I was four and my grandmother lived there until I was in high school. She got Alzheimer's and had to move into a nursing home. That is where I learned to swim. We call that Crow Bay, right? There's an island over there. There used to be a cottage on there. I don't know if there is anymore. We swim across the island and then swim across to the big island and swim across to the other side. That's where I learned how to swim and how to fish. We used to fish here all the time. And we have the best sunsets out there on the lake. This is where I got chased by the muskie. Hey, neighbor from across the street caught a muskie, big, huge one and then chased me with it, with its teeth when I was little and it made me scared of fish. We in there and then the old fishing bay. We go up there and go on our fishing adventures. We used to fish right off the dock down there. Hey, we catch really great sunfish, some bass and some perch. Pearl Bay, this is where I learned to boat and where I learned to fish. Some good fishing in there. I haven't been there for decades. One of these days. Go, the reds and oranges are really starting to pop. Get some really vibrant colors out here. Still lots of green. Really dry summer I think affects it. But it's also been a very hot and humid fall. Those are military planes probably going to the Air Force Base in Trenton. Cemetery, Mount Pleasant it's called. There's a few cemeteries in town. This is Mount Pleasant. 
very pleasant place. This is a gravestone from my grandparents, Grandma and Grandpa Lily. This is Gertie, who lived by the river, and she was the original outdoors woman in our family. Taught me how to fish, taught me to love the outdoors and hiking. My grandpa died when I was only four, so I never got to know him. But my grandma Gertie was a pretty cool woman. The older I get, the more alike we become. We didn't get along very well in life, but we become more and more alike as I get older. And then down the hill, another the hill, right over here, where this Canadian flag and this big, beautiful cedar bush is, is my Grandpa Simons. He died in 1996. My Grandma Eva Simons, who we're going to bury today. And my son, Owen, who died at birth, would have been our third child, two together. We would have had four in total, but that was not meant to be. So, Jonas always puts a Hot Wheels car on here when we come here. Gives a new one, and somehow it always disappears. I imagine it gets run over by a lawnmower. Way up there somewhere is a note that he wrote to him a few years ago. But this is one of our very special spots. There's a Canadian flag here because my grandpa was a World War II veteran. And it's a really gorgeous spot. It's a good place to come and sit and watch the sunset. It's a very, very peaceful spot. I'd love to be able to put a bench in here one day, but it's pretty crowded.